Hi guys, we're gonna do a lesson on measuring cups and measuring spoons, okay? So I have um, a set of measuring cups, we're gonna discuss those first. And usually when you buy measuring cups, they come in a pack of four, and there's four sizes. Um, we're gonna start smallest to biggest, um, and I'm gonna show you what it looks like, and then we're gonna talk about a little bit of each um, thing. So the smallest in your set of measuring cups is one fourth, so one fourth, is one over four, and that means four of these will make one cup, okay? So four of these will make one whole, and our whole for this measurements is one cup. So one fourth is four to make one whole, okay? So that's the smallest one that you're gonna get. The next one is one third cup, one over three, okay? This means there's three of this size in a whole cup, in one whole cup. So three of these. And one third is a little bit bigger than one fourth. See how one fourth fits inside? Okay, so this is smaller. And then this comes next. Then we have the next size is one half. Okay, one half cup, one over two. This means there's two of these in one cup. So it's half, you cut it in half. You have one cup, you cut it in half. Now, if you have water or something like that, it's hard to visually do that. But like if you had a piece of pizza, you cut it in equally in half, you have two halves, one half. So that's this. And this is bigger than one third. And it's also bigger than one fourth, a quarter cup. So we have a third of a cup, a fourth of a cup, a quarter cup, and then half a cup, one half. And then we have one cup. So this is the whole, the whole thing, the one cup. So this is the biggest. You have two of these. If I had, you know, rice or something, I could put two uh, scoops and then it would fill this. For the one third, I can put three scoops of rice. Three of this side will fill one of these. For one fourth, four of these, one, two, three, four, will fill one cup, okay? So, they're magnetic, so they're holding together. Actually, that might be a good idea. So we have biggest to smallest, okay? So this one's the biggest and this one's the smallest. And also to visually look at that, you can put them together and you know this little white guy, the one fourth is the smallest, okay? So that's cups. Um, these cups are used to measure dry ingredients. Um, you're supposed to level them off for certain ingredients. If you got flour, you're supposed to level it off um, with a, the back of a knife or um, a spatula um, to make sure it's the right amount. But this is supposed to be measured for dry ingredients. You don't measure wet ingredients in these because you can't always make sure it's exactly to the top. It might spill. Um, you use a glass measuring cup, which we will talk about another day. But for today, for the purpose of, you know, just discussing measuring cups, um, when you're baking, if you're making a, um, a cake, you might measure your flour and your sugar um, with these items, because usually that's a cup or a two and a half cups of flour, one cup of sugar, um, a quarter cup of um, cocoa powder. I made brownies today and it was um, a half a cup of flour, a quarter cup of um, cocoa, um, one cup of sugar. So I use these measuring cups for that, okay? So this is the cup, one quarter cup is the smallest. And then we have one um, third cup comes next. And then we have one half and then we have one. So those are your dry measures, okay?